Greetings and welcome back to the lab. Time for another bonus video. We've got more stuff to unbox or in this case unbag. So let's pull out the first item and see what we've got. There we go. Another one from the legendary Alice 110 1983. I ordered a couple of items the second one was not absolutely necessary, but it was something I kind of wanted to play with. And it's also in part because to get things here to Los Angeles uh, from Alice, the first usually it seems like the first item is $3 shipping. And if it's a $1.50 item, that kind of feels <laughs> a little heavy for shipping. But then again, shipping to Los Angeles for $3, that's not expensive. <laughs> um, uh, but then the second item basically looks like all the items beyond the first item get rolled into that. So free shipping. Um, so let's open this up and see what we've got. Well protected again. Oops, I cut into it. That's not a wonderful thing. Got to be more careful about that. All right. Let's see. Oh, that's wrapped all the way around. All right, let's just pull out whatever's... Ah, I guess I'm going to need to cut the tape. There we go. Ah. <laughs> and cut the tape again. All right. Oh, wow. It's a bunch of stuff, but I think it's only the two items. I don't think I have anything else coming from Alice just yet. This almost seems like I got more than I was asking for. I think I actually did. All right. Uh, well, I ordered up some wire. These should all be 10 meters long, four different colors. And this is for the DIY Christmas lights. I just need some wire. Uh, I have some wire already, but to have some longer lengths to work with. This should get me at least halfway and then I can order up some more if I need to. So that's that. The second, I thought I'd only ordered two of. It looks like I've got four, unless I'm missing something. Nine, five. I'm just double checking the numbers here to make sure these are all the same. Well, I'm not complaining because this was going to be part of an experiment and now one of the things I was concerned about was whether or not <laughs> that wasn't as me and the easy open stuff. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, one of the things I was considering with the uh, experimental was having to modify. So this is a joystick, a little joystick, and said so I was thinking for the keyboard, instead of having multiple trim pots for something, or not the trim, not technically trim pots, they would actually be for adjusting something. So I was thinking like, okay, what if I did a high pass and a low pass filter, and you could push push forward for uh, raising the cutoff frequency push forward, go back on uh, high pass, and then something like that on low pass, and then basically you've got an adjustable band pass filter, something like that. There are other potential options. These are supposed to be 10K pots built in here. Uh, I don't know if there's a switch. Yeah, there appears to be a switch also. So the one thing I was concerned about was this header here and making it fit onto a, a circuit board the way I need it. So I was thinking, okay, I'll get two of them because I need to be able to uh, desolder this and put a new header on it. But, uh, wow, okay, looks like I've got four of them. Thank you, Alice. I appreciate that. And that's it for the unboxing. That's what I've got so far. I'm still waiting on a couple of circuit boards, uh, which are non-critical. So... On to the next, uh, well, on to continuing with these two projects, the uh, 
DIY keyboard, if you haven't looked at it yet, uh, is basically uh, me trying to figure out how I could build a keyboard. And if I try and pull it out right now, there's going to be an avalanche. Um, but uh, a keyboard, I'll, I'll put a picture up here so you can see what it looks like. And that is so I could do my own keyboard, develop my own sounds, my own oscillators, my own special effects, all the rest of that. But then it was a question of how in the world do I get a hold of a keyboard without buying a keyboard, maybe a broken keyboard. But then what are the options in terms of keys? They're very limited. If I, I just recently went to go look online and there's very little available. There's like one model that everybody's selling for like 20 bucks. For about 20 bucks, I can build my own. And so that's what that project is. And then the other is the DIY Christmas lights, which is a seasonal project. And it's me trying to figure out, could I build my own individual Christmas lights and string them together? And that's what all that wire is about. I'm going to need wire to, to go from one light to the next night, to the next light, to the next light. So that's where we are. Please feel free to take a look at those. I'll put the two playlists up at the end here. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I got ahead of myself. There's another package. Let's see. Now, if you've been watching the videos, you know I've been having one particular problem. Just trying to figure out which end to open up. And hoping that didn't just slice into something. Yep, that looks like it's it. Oh, that's interesting packaging. But... I've been having issues with my multimeter probes, so I ordered some new probes. Let's see if this uh, helps out. Uh, well, I'll go ahead and test them in the next video when I need them. But uh, that's what this was, was more multimeter probes. So hopefully that solves some of my problems. Thanks again. Take care.